It's always so important to inspect a compressor if it has issues or if it fails. A compressor will tell you anything that's really going on with the system. When you look inside and you inspect a failed compressor, it gives you telltale signs on what to look for. For an example, this is a piston out of a semi-hermetic compressor. When you look at this, what do you think of? Hopefully you're thinking, man, that looks like there's major heat up there. Looks like the piston has wear on the sides. The rings are wore in. We know just by looking at it like this, that there was overheating happening. So now it's our job as a detective to figure out why. If you have scores like this on the piston, that means the cylinders are wore, you're gonna have to replace that compressor. But there are times when you don't have to replace the compressor. This is what we talk about in the compressor masterclass. We go through service scenarios. We go through troubleshooting scenarios that's really gonna help you grow your knowledge. So if you do get a compressor like this, and maybe this compressor was failed electrically as well, but we know from looking at this, it's not an actual electrical failure. This would be determined as a mechanical failure from overheat. And maybe it was a spot burn, maybe it was a general burn or a full winding burn from the overheat that caused that electrical failure. But you need to understand that. And this is gonna change you from the rest of the pack that's out there. Understanding why compressors fail the way they do, understanding if it actually failed. This is what we talk about in the Compressor Masterclass. This is gonna get you to the next game. It's gonna get you the results you're looking for as well as your company's looking for. I'd love to hear your questions or comments. My name is Trevor Matthews. Let's get a conversation going.